What's up, YouTubers? It's Chad Strat, aka Montana Chill. Uh, wanted to bring a really quick, um, sort of rudimentary, rudimentary uh, tutorial. Uh, this is not for uh, strong, intermediate, or advanced Reason users, so you can just skip this video. Uh, but I wanted to talk about for for newcomers to Reason, um, song creation and finding sounds. Uh, seems like a simple idea. Seems like most people could navigate, do that themselves. Um, but, uh, I, I was talking to somebody the other day and, and showed them this and they were like, mm, I never thought of that. And that's a lot simpler than the way I do things, which is just type in the search bar. Cause that's what I do in Ableton, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the likes of, of course, uh, Apple logic, um, we basically see this strong tagging system within the uh, loop, find, you know, finding loops and sounds and samples and clips. Um, you know, the tagging system is really strong in Apple, right? It's not too bad in reason. Um, and so I wanted to go through three ways that you can discover sounds within propeller head reason, um, and quickly find sounds for sketching ideas. Now I'm not promoting creating entire songs out of stock patches. I want to encourage everybody out there to start with patches and then just, you know, screw it all up, jack it all up, change things, move things, add things, uh, be you, you be you, do you. Stock sounds are awesome. So sometimes they're perfect, but most of the time there's something you can, you can do to, you know, make it more you, uh, personal opinion. So, uh, the first way is going to the reason 10 sounds refill. Okay. Um, it's sorted categorically. So you can just, uh, click on any sort of category. Like I'm looking for a bass and, you know, I'm looking for an acoustic bass sound and I'm looking for the bass rig. Boom. Okay. I've got an upright, upright bass sound. Uh, certain other categories are a little bit more robust, like the pads, because this reason sounds folders, everything in reason. Okay. So that's the first thing I want to, you know, regarding number one, this first thing you need to understand is this is everything. This is all combinators, all devices, all patches. Boom. It's in here. Um, this is term in terms of the stock, um, samples and libraries and patches. Some categories like pads, you know, it's kind of overwhelming. So I think it's worth noting that, uh, like what I have done in the past is just, okay, I'm going to take a Saturday afternoon and I'm going to go through all of the pad patches. And then I'm going to, uh, like here, I've got a worship pads folder and then I'm going to save those off. Now, anytime you open a, a patch, you can just click the, the save icon and you can save that wherever you want. So you can create a new folder and just save off. So I've, what I've done is gone and saved all of my, my, you know, personal favorite pad patches. And I can drop these in here. And then I can go through these one by one. Yeah, get some cool pads that way, right? So that's 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 the first way. Just go through the stock sounds. Uh, they're they're separated by the type of texture that you're looking for, generally speaking. Um, and so I recommend doing that. The second way is to go to the factory sounds. Now it's worth noting that uh, the next two ways are actually subsets of the first way. So everything in Reason 10 is including in factory sounds, right? Um, but this is still a way that you can sort of refine your thought process and music making by saying, you know, okay, um, because there's two ways within factory sounds. Okay. The first way is within combinators, uh, because combinators is sorted categorically. The general list is not necessarily, you know, at first glance, but combinators are sorted categorically. So you can still come in here and say, I'm looking for bass sounds and I'm looking for acoustic bass sounds. There's all my combinators for acoustic bass sounds. Um, I could come in here and look at pads and, and these are, you know, generally speaking, combinators are going to be more textured, more nuanced because there's more devices, you know, they're combined, right? So there's a lot more going on. They also inherently have more CPU intensive FYI. Um, so the, the second way is go through combinator patches. The third way is to just come in here and say, you know, I'm looking for a lot of movement in my track. And so generally speaking, I'm going to, I'm going to probably go with a Europa patch because Europa you know, prides itself on movement uh, within a texture. So Europa is perfect for that. I generally speaking grain, if I'm looking for some real edgy, you know, 
crisp, off the wall, just cutting edge. I'm going to grain. You know, there's going to be some cool stuff. Um, I recently took, no lie, Bean Crosby Christmas album and, uh, and, and just chopped up some pieces and dropped them into a grain patch. And from a standard, regular reason, default patch, just simply replaced the sample. <clears throat> Mind blown. Um, grain's awesome. So, so that's the third way. Go through by device. Um, and, and it's worth noting that within any of these, you know, you can, you can use the whole, you know, patch search and you, you know, I can look for a pad and I can see, okay, here's everything that's got pad written in it. Um, that's a, that's sort of a fourth way. It's kind of overwhelming. So I don't necessarily recommend that. I, I recommend, um, you know, that's the Ableton live way. Just search for something and, and bounce through clips aimlessly. It doesn't make any sense. Um, don't do it. Uh, Live better, folks. Live better. So think in terms of your music, in terms of like the texture, the device, the the nuances of it. You know, uh, how much timbre do I need? Um, those kind of things, because you can get device specific. Um, an additional thing that you could do is the rack extensions folder. Um, also, like if you have third party extensions that aren't within the stock sounds, um, you can come here and similarly um, go through um, patches uh, by texture device. So. So those are those are my tips for how to track down some sounds. Um, uh, another some other things that I think are worth mentioning is that uh, within any of these, you can just drag the device and then arrow down. Or if you have the LX forty nine plus by uh, Nectar, um, you can just hit the patch button and that will do it. Okay, um, so there's lots of way to find textures and sounds. Um, find your own way of doing it. But I wanted to bring this up for newcomers to Reason. Um, you know, bouncing back and forth to like from Ableton to Logic or or to Reason. Um, you know, they they all have things they do well and things they just don't. You know, I love I love Ableton Live, but finding stuff in Ableton just sucks. It's not fun. It's not intuitive. Uh, and versus Logic, Apple Logic, it's extremely intuitive, extremely quick and simple and easy. Propel ahead for me is, you know, reasons right in the middle. So um, hope this tip was helpful for some of you. Thanks for watching. Please comment, give a like, give a share. Um, take care. God bless.